Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about DynamoDB 2.0. So how we can set up a DynamoDB locally in our laptop or PC and how we can utilize it without paying the money for utilization on the AWS console. So we'll be using a local version of DynamoDB. So I will show you how to configure it and how to use it in your local projects. So without paying any money for read and write access, basically. So recently only, this AWS has like given you the opportunity to download the DynamoDB locally in your development environment. So it will help you prevent any incurring any additional cost. And also it doesn't need any internet connection and it works with your existing DynamoDB API calls and it is free to download for all the OS, Mac, Linux or Windows. So, Let's go to the link. So this feature is basically recently launched by them on 5th of July, 2023. So you can see over here, you can just work on it. So I'll just show you the link from where you can download. So I have downloaded this one, DynamoDB local v2.x. So you can just click on this zip file. You can download once you download extract it so you can see over here i have downloaded this and then extract it over here once you extract this one just you can run the uh, cmd over here and then you need to run one command i will share these commands with you later on so you can see these are the list of commands basically and make it sure whatever commands you execute. If you watch my previous videos, we are not using this endpoint URL and all, but here, whatever commands we'll be running, we'll always use endpoint URL, HTTP localhost, it, because, it, because it is running on port number 8000. If your port number 8000 is occupied, you can set up any port number if you want. So this is the command that we need to run. So I will just run this one. Let me check, I think I made some mistake. Uh, I think that I did copy the full command. Let me check over here. Command is given over here also. Uh, it's a shared DB. Uh, it's just written shared. So I'll just execute again. Okay. That's it. Now you can, so this is how it is configured initializing DynamoDB local and all those things. Then you can just uh, open your command prompt. I'm just running as administrator. So you can run some commands over here. Let's say I will want to list the tables that I have. So you can see I didn't provide any AWS key or secret, nothing like that. So it has no link with your AWS anything, SDK or console or AWS configure, nothing I have done. So we will just write it down this one. So you can see there's one table is there already there. So if you don't have the table, you can create your table. So this is the command to create a table. So I'll just show you over here. You can, so I'll just change the table name. Always make it sure you're mentioning the endpoint URL, otherwise it won't create the table. If if you have by mistake, maybe you have configured the AWS configure and you have provided your AWS key and secret, so it will create in the AWS console over there. So let's say test table. 
that's it. That's it, it's done. So I will run the previous command again. Now you can see over here there are two tables, JJJ and test table. Now if I want to basically put some item, so I'll just use this one, put item. There is a, um, like a full section over there in AWS, you can just search it out, DynamoDB get put, but make it sure you're copying the uh, Windows command. The way of writing in Linux is different, in Windows it is a little bit different. So make it sure you, if you're using a Windows, you should opt for the Windows commands. The way of writing is a little bit slightly different, the, the escape sequence and all those things. So this is, I will just change the table name. Okay, so it has inserted. So if you want to check, um, get item. You can get item over here. Okay, because the table is not there. Okay, the resource not found. Uh, I think, let me see over here. So you can see some what say famous. Okay, the song title. Mm, song title, happy day. Let me try again. Okay, let me try to insert again, put item. Okay, so here I'm putting basically something. Uh, okay, let's try again. Then I will just try to get the items. Test table, artist, make my band, song title, happy day. It should show you, I don't know, something. Maybe I make mistake. Okay, now see the biggest mistake I'm doing over here. I am not defining the endpoint URL. So that's why. In rest of the commands, if you see over there, I'm defining the endpoint. Let me define over here endpoint. Let me copy paste. There we go. So that was the reason. So this is very important. So make sure you add it, concatenate this particular endpoint URL, otherwise you won't be getting, because it's keep on searching when uh, basically we are not providing any uh, AWS keys and all. We are not configuring, this is locally we are using, that's why we need to define endpoint URL because our DynamoDB is running on port number 8000. Okay, this was just a small video just to show you how we can utilize the DynamoDB locally, how we can uh, explore the concepts of those keys and all those things. So local secondary, uh, local key and the secondary key partition keys and all those things. You can also explore yourself. You can watch my video in the YouTube. I have already posted on DynamoDB. So get the basic uh, indexes and all those things, detail about it. And later on, you can explore it yourself locally without incurring any cost or something in the AWS console. So I hope you like my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.